Well, hello, beautiful. Welcome back to the channel. Oh, yes, that's right. I'm talking to you. So in today's video, we're talking about a new brand on this channel, a never before seen brand on this channel. <laughs> None other than Astoria Activewear. Now, when I first found out about them, it was, you guessed it, through Instagram. I kept seeing ad after ad, smack dab in my face. Instagram's really good like that. They, they, know, they know what you wanna see, and then they shove it in your face until you end up buying it. So I had made a story about whether or not you would like to see the brand Astoria Activewear. They actually saw the story and were kind enough to send me a few pieces and also provide me with a discount code for you for this video. So my code GATA15 does save you 15% off of your order. Totally didn't expect them to do that. Very nice surprise, very cool of them, so I do appreciate it. If you're new, what is up? My name's Ashley. We talk about all things activewear here on this channel. We try out new brands every single month. This video is brought to you in part by Moby Fitness. Moby Fitness is a global award-winning smart fitness equipment company which aims to integrate fine craft and artistic design into its products. They've adopted modern technology and intelligent solutions to enhance fitness lifestyles. Today we'll be talking about their Regulus Smart Elliptical. This elliptical feels like the ones they have at gyms. This is a very high quality Scandinavian style elliptical that is specifically designed to mesh with a variety of interior design aesthetics. Perfect for home gyms, living rooms, etc. I love the white wooden base. That is my style in a nutshell. The elliptical is very sturdy and doesn't wobble at all. It's very well built but still lightweight and easy to move. In terms of the functional features, this elliptical has a 22 pound inertia advanced flywheel and 24 digital resistance levels. The transitions from one level to the next are very smooth. The Regulus is super quiet, no weird grinding or chugging. This is because of the magnetic axis. I am in a second floor apartment and I feel comfortable using this because I know it won't bother my neighbors. It has built-in responsive hand grip pulse sensors for heart rate monitoring and the classic elliptical style long handles that move with your stride. You can go forwards or backwards and the oversized anti-slip foot pedals are tilted at a two degree inward slope, which helps reduce ankle and knee stress. The pedals move along a frictionless aluminum track rail. It's so fluid and glides seamlessly. To help with the minimalist design, there are no buttons. Everything is completely controlled through the app. It connects via Bluetooth and automatically syncs up to the elliptical. The app is subscription free, offers free classes, and automatically tracks each and every one of your workouts. Here you can find my code. I'll also have them linked down below in case you're interested. Definitely worth a check if you're looking to up your home gym game. You can find my measurements right over here. I'll also have them down in the description box as well. Everything you see in today's video is in my true size small. If you take a close look at Astoria's Instagram profile, you'll notice there's a trend. Almost every single thing they got has a scrunch bum on it, minus their new seamless activewear. They're very flirty, feminine, very girly, lots of fun, beautiful prints. I'm not really seeing a ton of workouts, so right off the bat I'm like, is this gym friendly? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say after wearing these pieces around, no, not for me. I'm very picky when it comes to what I'm squatting in. These won't be it, but don't get it twisted. They're still cute as hell, so let's go ahead and check it out. I have their Lux Ignite full-length legging and sports bra in the color beige speckle. When I look at this print, you wanna know what comes to my mind? The Flintstones. Did I say that right? Because I've said Flintstones, <laughs> I've said them on this channel before, and everyone made fun of me. It's Flint stones, okay? I know it's not Flintstones. I know there's a T in there. This material has such a smooth and glassy feel to it. Very slick to the touch. It is high-waisted and you do have a slight tapered waistband. Not seamless as you can see, quite a few seams. The back seam is very straight across. Now, typically I don't like that. I need a little curvature. Somehow, some way, it doesn't look too bad on the glutes. It does enhance it in its own way. It's like the seams move around. You don't even notice them. Believe me, I've had leggings where it's so flat and straight across my body, <coughs> Gymshark, <laughs> elevate, that I'm like, oh my God, I can't wear these because they're not flattering unless I wear something over it. <laughs> these, not so much. Very flattering on the glutes. The scrunch looks very natural. In this print, 
It's not as detectable as certain prints we'll get into in just a second. But when actually wearing them, the seam is pretty thick sewn in. So on the inside of the scrunch, it's a very thick seam. It's not stretchy. It does its job and separates the cheeks nicely, but on top of it being pretty damn stiff, they connected the scrunch to the gusset. There's nothing that takes away from the functionality of a scrunch than connecting it to the gusset because it literally pulls through the front and gives you the dreaded CT. These leggings put my cooter in a chokehold. I was so bummed because to be honest, these leggings have a lot of great attributes to them. They're lightweight, they're breathable, they're silky soft, very flattering on the peach. The compression is perfect, nice, moderate, snug, but it's not overly snug where I'm feeling sandwiched in. Overall, these would have been a serious hit for me if it wasn't for the scrunch being connected to the gusset. When you squat, you can feel that tug underneath. This is the literal reason why I would not wear them to the gym. If they didn't have that downfall, I'd be more inclined to actually give them a shot at the gym. But I knew that if I were to wear them trying to squat, I'd be extra uncomfortable. Now, just wearing them casually, they're not horrible. I think these are very true to size. If in between, I'd probably suggest sizing up. I feel like if I were to size down, I would start to feel very sandwiched in. A couple things I really liked about these leggings is that the print didn't fade, not around the quads or anywhere, not even the glutes. They were pretty damn squat proof. The stretch is very nice, comfortable around the legs. Legs. Like I said, comfortable around the waistband. The only place that wasn't comfortable was down below. The Lux Ignite Bra. Now I have really nice things to say about this one because I think it's very flattering. It's pretty snug. So if you're in between, definitely size up. I might have been able to get away with sizing up completely because I do feel like it's just a little bit too tight. You have a traditional scoop line. So even though it's low coverage, it does give a nice moderate support. This band is a lifesaver right here. This takes it from being a super low support sports bra to now being a moderate support. If you have a really big chest, you might think this is very low support. But for me, 34B, this is giving me more of a moderate support. You do have removable bra pads. The straps on the back are exceptional. You know I love a strappy bag. <laughs> Absolutely no adjustments. I think they really did a good job on the sports bra. I really do. I would definitely grab a pair of black leggings and then wear the top as a statement piece. That's about it. Are you ready for an adorable cherry print? <laughs> if this doesn't just make you happy looking at it, I don't know what will. When I look at this print, I instantly taste cherry ice cream, which if you don't know is my favorite flavor ice cream. I'm a big cherry lover, yes I am. This is their Lux Blossom print. Now I saw them come out with a white version of this with the, with the cherries, okay? I almost wanted that one. I'm glad they sent me the pink <laughs> because let's face it, I get white dirty and white and I don't get along. This is probably filthy as we speak, yep. We have some good and bad news with this set. The good news is it's freaking beautiful. <laughs> It's adorable and it's very unique. But the downfall is these are nearly identical to the leggings you just saw. Same type of material and everything. If I'm gonna go scrunch and I'm gonna go showy, I still need it to be comfy. A few things to note about this print though. When standing, I am noticing that the band looks a little bit thicker, therefore looking a couple shades darker than the rest of the legging. The reason being is because this has double fabric right around the band, whereas the rest of the legging does not. So it is technically Thinner. That's just the design of it. It's not that the pattern's fading or the fabric's fading. It's just one layer versus two. Good news is for this light of a print, not horrible with sheerness. I would say it's about 80, 85% squat proof. If that's a concern, definitely go towards the speckle print route. But for cherry leggings that are this light, I'll give it to him, not bad. So where's the speckle print? Really concealed sweat, I didn't see anything. It wicked very fast. In the light cherry print, however, I did notice sweat showing through, but wicked very fast because it is technically the same material. This glossy fabric really does help take the sweat off of your body 
right out into the abyss. That I'll give it to them, really good for wicking sweat. These are the type of leggings that I would wanna just style and have fun with more than anything. I'm not interested in actually working out in you. The Blossom Sports Bra. So this one's different than the Speckle. This still has a really long scoop neck. You do have non-adjustable straps. This is different though. This one's a little more straightforward when it comes to the straps on the back. This sports bra appears boxier than the Speckle. When comparing the two, you can see that the Cherry Blossom actually has more width to it, which is why it appears to look boxier. This extra width did me dirty because now I feel like I need to size down. I can't win, right? So yeah, I would say size up in the other bra and size down in this one if we have similar measurements. So they doubled up on the spaghetti straps, still non-adjustable, still have the removable bra pads and that thick elastic band. Overall, low to moderate support. Bra pads are hard, it's rocks. <laughs> Reminds me of Mean Girls, remember? The mom with the hard tits. This is what they must have felt like. Oh, uh, you girls keep me young. Do we wanna talk about what I'm wearing? Because this is a story as well. This is their live, no, live Lux front cross sleeve crop. Live and live, they're spelled the same way. I don't really know which one it is. I've been seeing this style a lot lately. The long sleeve, white crisscross front. I think they did a good job on the fit of this crop top. I specifically chose this top so that I can mix and match with these pattern leggings. There's a couple things I love about this top, there's a couple things I don't. That twist is really pretty, very delicate, gives a ballerina look, very low neckline, so the girls, they're coming out to play in this one. There's nothing you could do about it. Luckily, mine are having fun, so they're not complaining. Very comfortable, very stretchy. In fact, it's the same material as the sets, so they're very consistent across the board. You're gonna sweat in this, and guess what? It's gonna wick. Actually physically working out in this, not so good. I did some crazy arm thrusts, that's what I'm gonna call them, with some serious movements. You can expect some lower boobage right here, like me just going like this. It's there, nothing you can do. So definitely not something you wanna work out in, but if you wanna stay comfortable and casual, cute as hell, say pair it with some jeans, summer's coming around the corner, this you could rock. The one thing that upset me about this top now it does have thumb holes. That's not the part that upset me because you know I do love thumb holes. But as I was sitting down to film, I noticed something. There's a second thumb hole forming. <laughs> That's my nice way of saying the stitch is ripped somehow, some way. It's not like I wore this many times. I think this is maybe my third time. And it's now unraveling. And on top of that, I smacked this into my lip and now my lipstick's on it. I told you the color white and I, we don't, we don't belong. We hate each other. Well, I love it, but it hates me. I don't know what I did to earn that vendetta against me. But yeah, so I got a second thumb hole and it's just kind of getting worse. I don't really know how to sew. Mom, if you're watching, can I send this over to you? Can you just sew it up real quick? Let me know, call me later. And the thumb holes are a little bit uncomfortable too. They are a bit tight right around here. The rest of it's not though. Very stretchy, very comfortable overall. It's just the thumb hole region that needs a little bit of work. So, for now, I'm gonna do a little bit of this. Roll it up, no one has to know. Last but not least, I actually have one of their lounge sets. This is exciting because it looks pretty glamorous online. We're looking at the Lux Lounge Pant and Crop Top. It's made out of mostly cotton and elastane. This is the kind of material I like to sleep in. It feels cozy, almost has a bit of a heaviness to it, but you don't actually feel that when wearing it. These are really flattering. I know it's not about that when you're lounging, but it kind of is, right? But equally so, it rides up in the front a little bit, which is why if I could do it all over again, I would size up in these. I think if I grabbed a size up, these would be so, so comfortable and still flattering. I actually prefer wearing my lounge clothes extra loose. I don't think it would sacrifice the waist because you do have a nice adjustable waistband. No pockets. This is double lined, so definitely not sheer. You don't have to worry about any of that. The length is just there. Any longer and I would have been sweeping my floor. I think the top is what caught my eye about this set because you have that asymmetrical one shoulder strap lounge top. There's no padding, no support whatsoever. I don't really need it. <laughs> You already know. Very comfortable. Overall, the lay, everything just fit nice. Nothing was cinching in. I think this top, styled with these high-waisted bottoms, gives a really nice, pretty look. I think the color's gorgeous, too. This is in their beige. So the top, no problem with sizing. I'll stick with my small. 
bottom size up, and then I think you have a really comfortable, perfect set. Okay, so now it's your turn. Comment down below. Have we tried Astoria Activewear? If so, what's your thoughts? Definitely stay tuned because up next, we have Buff Bunny's brand new collection. I don't think you wanna miss this one because I'm gonna go ahead and say this might be my favorite one to date, other than the undead, because Halloween is everything. We also have a new Alpha Elite launch coming. You can also expect to see the new Gymshark camo and Elevate collection. We also have some more releasing soon. I'll be covering that as well. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I love you guys and I'll catch you in my next video. But yeah, really cute look. I mean, if you're going on vacation, this, no, I don't even know why I said that. I specifically chose this top so I can mix and match flawlessly with these, uh... oh my God. Astoria saw it. Okay, that's a hard name to say. Look. Astoria saw it. Oh my God. Astoria, Astoria saw it is like a tongue twister. Astoria s Astoria saw it and actually provided me with a di oh my God. Let's go ahead and check out their, what the hell is this called? Um, 